kila group ya wasichana wa rebo hakukosagi moja itiamini <laughs> The corona pandemic was a blow to most of us, but some of us had it even tougher. Welcome to Classy Trends where we keep you glued to Classy. If you're new, please consider subscribing to join this awesome family. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much and God bless you. Now, in an interview with presenter Ali, Consumita, who is a former comedian at Churchill Show, opened up about what he went through when the pandemic came out. Consumita's real name is Peter Wamwea, and he rose to stardom when he joined Churchill Show. He was really a loved, a loved a comedian at Churchill Show and was doing really well. But unfortunately, in 2019 and 2020, the corona pandemic hit Kenya, and that was when he lost his job. Churchill Show was closed due to uh, social distance and most of the comedians had it very rough making a living. Just like everyone else, a COVID-19 pandemic caught him off guard, hence pulling him down to his, to his lowest moments. In an interview with presenter Ali, Consumita opened up about what he was going through during the pandemic. He said that when he lost his job, he was unable to pay bills and do anything that concerned money. No! For heaven's sake, you're not his class! When presenter Ali asked him about his savings, he said that he had his savings, but according to the comedian, his life savings went to his dad's prostate treatment, which left him broke. When the problems became more bigger and bigger, he had no option but to move in with a friend. He could not afford rent, he could not afford food, so he moved on with a friend who was a comedian at the Churchill show. He said that the friend is still doing very well on online comedy and is earning a living in comedy. However, after living for three months with his friend, the friend kicked him out because he wasn't bringing anything financially at his home. So he kicked him out after three months in a very embarrassing way. Consumator said that he was very humiliated and he was very sad and he still feels sad even today after what happened. He said that he tried to get a job, but unfortunately, no one was hiring during the pandemic. He said that even a rent of 3,000 Kenya shillings was harder for him. He couldn't afford 3,000 Kenya shillings rent. Eh? <laughs> He said that his father still needs a medical treatment and therapy and he still has to work hard and his savings goes to his father's treatment. Consumator said that his friend kicking him out did not come as a surprise as he was expecting it. But what he couldn't understand is the animosity portrayed by the said friend. He did not mention the friend but he said that he knows himself. Fast forward with the interview out and tumblers reporting about his wars and his struggles um, earning a living, Consumator came back for a follow-up interview at Presenter Ali and revealed that he's getting threats from the said friend, the said uh, friend who kicked him out and some of the comedians he used to work with. He said that he has faced stigmatization from those closest to him and the former housemate threatening him. Speaking about the threat, Consumator said that that person that hosted me is a comedian. He's doing very well even on online. Yeah, yeah, I'm a nuka, but he has started threatening me like Uliongea Najua ni Mimi Uliongea Kunihusu. So life as we are speaking for Consumator isn't any easier, he still hasn't gotten up on his feet. He does comedy skits at his YouTube channel Consumator and we hope he's going to make a living out of that or even get more jobs. Anyways guys, that is all we have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe for more videos and also watch our channel for more, more interesting and entertaining videos. See you on our next one. Bye.